Hey folks, there's nothing better than Mississippi springtime crappie fishing. And what makes it even better, even more fun, is a pair of waders and a jig pole. And to top that off, we're at Grenada Lake, the number one crappie fishery in the entire U.S. Y'all come join us as we go wade fishing for some big Grenada slabs. Ooh. It's breaking daylight, but as you can see, uh, folks are pretty excited. There's just a small window in the spring when these big fish move up. And uh, a lot of people come out here and fish for these big crappie from all over the country. So we're fixing to run to our starting spot and get after it. We're gonna tie up one of these bushes over here. I was hoping it'd be a little shallower. <laughs> Jay Scroggs, here with my dad and Phil Poe, Steve Brister. Of course, Larry P. We're here uh, putting at Young's this morning. We've come up the Yalabusha River. Had a little rain yesterday, so the water's a little bit muddier, but we've been catching fish in this area in two to three feet of water. I hope we can uh, get some good uh, coverage of us catching some fish. Very little. Very little. Do they want dead stick? I don't know, I've been trying that for what it's worth. Very nice. Oh, I can't tell, can you? Good fish. That's where I think you're gonna find them. I think they've got real shallow. Grenade Lake Crappie, folks, that's what it's all about. Shallow fishing, a little wade fishing, it doesn't get any simpler than this. He wasn't three inches deep. I saw you, I saw him pop you. You know, when we get out here and do this kind of fishing, uh, it just doesn't get any simpler than this. This is just a, you know, a 10 foot jig pole, 12 foot jig pole, 11 foot jig pole, um, 10 pound test, uh, eight pound test, whatever, you, whatever your preference is. Um, I've got a uh, 20 pound braid. Um, we're fishing heavy cover, obviously, uh, but uh, I like jig head, tube jig, um, you know, I guess color preference. Some days it matters, some days it don't. We'll find out. Water's got a lot of stain to it, typical of Grenada. So uh, we'll see what we can do. That's a good fish. There he is. Let him. There you go. Take your time. We don't get it on camera, it ain't caught. <laughs> fish on. A little top over here. No. Oh. There he is. Woo, female guys. Better fish, better fish. Oh, slap full of eggs. <laughs> Pretty. Oh, non target, non target. I knew something wasn't right. kind of unique to places where we catch three or four they come back an hour later and that's just kind of the habitat of crappie they'll come they'll come back to it you just have to give it a rest <laughs> oh good fish 
Fechão. fishing this morning and we caught a few fish but this is a tried and true method here fishing out of the boat and we got two folks fishing with us today that are uh i don't know got a lot of experience you might say how long have you been fishing jerry and phil how long have y'all been fishing grenada lake i was born in 48 and i know i was fishing here in the late 50s late 50s phil you've been fishing here a while too phil was raised in uh Calhoun City Big yeah. Creek area. Yeah. So he's fished here all his life. And uh, my opinion is right now that they've gone really shallow. Yeah. And uh, I think that's happened. And I think it's going to take another hunt and pick so you find them. Yeah. I have a few places in mind I'd like to hunt and pick. Well, sure is a lot of fun. Well, look, we're going to let y'all check a few other places. And if y'all get on some fish, we're going to head that way. Mate. Come here, Papa. Oh, look, he. You know, like you're in a good area or good color when you can't see the G. <laughs> he's got he he's got a good female, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good. One. <laughs> Oh, fish. Caught my dang fish. What a fish. See there? He's coming the other side and caught my fish. Good Come fish. on, female. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> <sighs> what is, what's he doing coming to our tree? It's you could fish. fish this with a boat. I mean, you could, but you sure, you couldn't fish it effectively. You know, you could fish the outside edges, uh, but you sit here and get in there with them with this jig pole. And uh, it's just a, it's just a, a whole different thing, you know. You just getting that in there and dropping that little jig down there. Don't fish. Good fish, good fish. There he is. I'm gonna have to go in and get him. I think he's a short, nice fish, but. Huh? I can't believe this, boys. Jay, I guess you. Dang it, go to him. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get for talking dirty. <laughs> Had to manhandle him. We've had a great morning. Uh, that The water actually came up a little bit and uh, the fish look like uh, the, the best fish we've caught have been in a little bit shallower water. So we're gonna go over here to another area, a little bit shallower than what we've been fishing, and see if we can't finish out the day. I'm bass fishing, apparently. <laughs> He's decent. Tell you what, I think he's swell. Well, 
we've had to make another change. Obviously a short fish for Grenada, but uh, as you can see, uh, the wind has really got up. Um, we're trying to finish up the day. and We came up this creek, sort of got out of the wind. We're gonna try it for a little while before we just basically uh, call it a day. We've had a great morning. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> We've had a great day here at Grenada Lake, springtime here in Mississippi, doing a little wade fishing. Uh, thanks to Jerry and Phil, we are able to come up this creek and finish the day with some good fish. Uh, I want to thank Jay Scruggs, Steve Brister for letting us tag along. We had a great day, and until next time, we'll see y'all outdoors. Grenada Lake Crappie.